The UK-based X-Lynx has opened a tender for marine geophysical and geotechnical surveys to be performed on the 3,800 km long interconnector cable route between Morocco and the UK. The undersea cable will be the longest of its kind and is intended to cross offshore Morocco, Portugal, Spain and France before reaching the UK. The tender was issued on the e-tendering Delta platform, will close on 22 February, with the duration of the study expected to span 12 months. The ambitious project, which is estimated to cost around $21.9 billion, was unveiled by the company's CEOs, Simon Morish, in the second quarter of last year. The X-Lynx Morocco UK Power Project will be a new solar and wind-powered electricity generation complex infused with a large battery storage facility. The ingenious architecture will nestle in Guwaminaut Noun, Morocco's renewable energy-rich region, and will span a 1,500 square kilometer area. X-Lynx plans to set up solar and wind farms to generate 10.5 gigawatt of electricity a day, enough to power 7 million British households by 2030. X-Lynx is looking to award one contract for the Marine Geophysical, Geotechnical and Environmental Route Investigation Surveys along the approximately 3,800-kilometer interconnector route, including data acquisition, processing, charting and reporting. The scope of the work covers nearshore and offshore geophysical and hydrographic survey, unexploded ordnance survey and nearshore and offshore geotechnical investigations. It also involves nearshore and offshore benthic investigations, nearshore geotechnical boreholes, as well as remotely operated vehicle investigations. The estimated total value of the contract excluding value-added tax is estimated around $17.4 million. Over the last 10 years, Morocco has emerged as a global leader in renewable energy. The nation has asserted its dominance on the international stage with exquisite standards in the development of large-scale and innovative renewable energy projects. The successful conquest of upscale renewable energy projects that supply sufficient and consistent power annually has relied heavily on ideal solar and wind resources. The unique Norwaz as a complex, which houses the world's largest concentrated solar power project, and its merged wind program are visual emblems that corroborate the success of the North African nation in renewables. X-Lynx plans to deploy wind and solar power generation capacity on an area of around 1,500 square kilometers in Morocco's Gelmamoud Noun region. The transmission line, according to the developer, would be divided into four main separate cables and would be the longest global submarine power link. The UK-based company is optimistic to achieve a 10.5 gigawatts renewable energy complex. Equipped with 20 gigawatts hour per 5 gigawatt of battery storage, it would connect to the United Kingdom power grid via a 3.6 gigawatts subsea cable. These batteries will enable X-Lynx to install more solar photovoltaic and wind generation systems, allowing the subsea transmission system to be used more efficiently. This consequently reduces the cost of sending per unit of electricity to Britain due to an average of 20 plus hours of delivery per day at full power. It also gives national grid confidence that the project will power Britain even when wind and solar output are low across Northern Europe. The wind farm will take advantage of the consistent trade winds in the area, which are fueled by the temperature difference between the Atlantic Ocean and the African continent. The wind speed at the generation site increases in the late afternoon and evening, ensuring that power can be delivered to Britain during peak demand periods. The solar photovoltaic farm will be 200 square kilometers in size, tracking the sun from east to west throughout the day. To give Britain the most consistent generation profile possible, this will maximize the solar farm's output while enhancing early morning and late afternoon production. X-Lynx intends to include 7 gigawatt of solar capacity and 3.5 gigawatt of wind power, with aspirations to hold tenders for the project all over the world. The feasible timeline for the first 1.8 gigawatt connections at Alberdiscot in Devon, Southwest England is expected to be in place by early 2027, with a second cable following two years later. (music) 
X-Lynx will build a transmission system from Morocco's generation site to Britain, with the majority of it crossing the ocean. The power will be transmitted from Morocco to the United Kingdom via high-voltage direct current subsea cables which will traverse four times across international waters, navigating across the maritime borders of European countries such as Portugal, Spain and France. These high-voltage direct current cables have been shown to be more reliable and cost-effective than high-voltage alternating current technology for large volumes of electron transfer over longer distances. It is envisioned that by the summit of the decade, the Morocco-UK power project should guarantee clean energy to over 7 million British homes, which according to experts, will require an investment of approximately $21.9 billion. Why Morocco? Morocco's ideal solar and wind resources have been integral renewable projects developments. It has the third highest global horizontal irradiance in North Africa which is 20% higher than Spain's and more than twice that of the United Kingdom. Furthermore, even on the shortest winter day it receives more than 10 hours of sunlight. This contributes to the provision of production profiles that meet the needs of the UK power market, particularly during periods of low offshore wind production. This project will rely on Morocco's strong renewable energy expertise, while also promoting the country's global leadership in the fight against climate change, adding value to its natural resources and strengthening its renewable energy industry. X-Lynx is aligned with the country's energy export strategy, making this project critical. Why the UK? The United Kingdom is exemplifying its commitment to the global goal of attaining net zero emissions by 2050, inspiring the rapid decarbonization of its own economy and rallying international action to meet the Paris Climate Agreement. In 2019, Zero carbon power sources surpassed fossil fuel power generation in the United Kingdom for the very first time since the Industrial Revolution, striking hope that by 2025, the National Grid ESO will have transformed its electricity system operations to enable fossil fuel-free periods. Historical analysis matching UK wind supply with electricity demand underscores the fact that the highest wind generation supply occurs during the weakest electricity demand and vice versa. Periods of low generation can coincide with peaks in demand, leading to price spikes. Similarly, peaks in generation at night create pressure on the transmission network. The ability of interconnectors to improve the efficiency of cross-border electricity trading is possibly a key feature of this project. However, it is unclear whether generation linked to neighboring electricity networks will be affordable to British consumers when needed. Remote generation and interconnection of remote geographic regions with inversely correlated weather systems will be more effective at addressing supply and demand imbalances over longer time periods. Since its announcement of the project last year, the project has gotten a lot of attention. The BBC published an in-depth analysis of the project titled How to Plug the UK into Desert Sunshine. Despite the project's complexity, the UK search for renewable energy sources which is critical to meeting the country's international climate commitments, makes Sunrich Morocco a good candidate for the multi-billion investment project. If you enjoyed this video and want more exciting trends about renewable energy projects in Africa, make sure to watch our video on the link on your screen, which gives a comprehensive information about the 10 multi-billion renewable energy projects launched across Africa last year.